Oh no. Chrono! Wake up, Chrono. Oh, why'd you have to yell at me? I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. Honey, don't. Don't open the windows. Oh, uh, not the sunshine. I just want to stay in bed and just become my bed. I don't care about the bell. It kept me up all night. No, I want to live a comfortable life of doing nothing and sponging off of the king. He, he's rich. He's made of money. I don't have to work a day in my life. Marl, honey, stop. 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 Oh. That was a dream. I guess we know about Chrono's inner fantasies then. But why are we back here? This is 65 million BC. Weren't we just in 600 AD fighting Magus who, I guess, did not create Lavos after all, but was summoning him? So apparently Lavos already existed. I mean, before I said Lavos, I mean, before I said Magus was summoning Lavos, but I said that in the context of Magus created Lavos and then summoned him to the world. I didn't think it would be the fact that Lavos was already existing and that Magus was summoning him for some reason. But... Oh. First of all, it's weird that Ala had the same strange dream. But we all were at the Mystic Mountain, where the Time Gate was, I assume, since that's where the Time Gate was before. Well, thanks, Isla. I appreciate it. Oh, um, this is our new friend, Frog. Frog, this is Isla. Magus... Where's Magus? No. Just, no. He's a friend, and he has a sword. <laughs> Perish the thought, loss. Yeah, where is Magus? Didn't he get sucked into the time portal with us? You may say that. You may say that. You mean Magus didn't travel back in time with us? Where is he then? Okay, so Lavos was born in the distant past. So... Lavos? Don't worry now. You rest. Hurt bad. I like you probably don't know what you're talking about. Like, Lavos probably came about much later than you did, so... Well, at least we're being healed up from our battle, since that was a tough battle. That was rough. Oh, it's Kino. Hey, what's up? Laruba Village. Oh. I assume there's like a big battle going? What's going on? Burning? There's a fire? They're actually resorting to fire. Wait, what? Okay, um... So something must be going on. But first, how's it going everyone? This is Maya, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We fought Magus, and now we're back here, for some reason. Lavos probably was responsible for sending us back in time. Maybe that's a guess though, because... Lavos was there when that time portal appeared. So I'm speculating, but I'm back at the trading hut, and as it turns out, there's new items to trade for. For example, if I say I want to trade in a petal and a feather, I will get the magma hand, which is a new weapon for Robo, so I'll be doing some trading off screen. Okay guys, so I did my trading and I sold some stuff I, that I didn't need. So I got everyone their items. The trading system is more or less the same except there's new items. The Rock Helm and the Ruby Fest I think are still there to stay, but there's Chrono's new Aeon Blade. I should sell that slasher, why didn't I do that? Um, I also got Robo a Magma Hand and even though I use Luke and Marl's magic attacks, I decided to give them their respective weapons anyway, just because, why not? And Frog, well, he wields the Masamune, what else could he ha need, right? So, supposedly there is a fire up in the north, so we should check out what's going on. We've never seen this before, I thought this was all trees, but what is this place? Oh, Laruba. Didn't Isla say this is where people went if they 
could not fight, and it's in ruins. Does that mean? Oh my God, what happened here? Oh jeez, what did the reptiles do to the innocent? Are they okay? Don't blame Myla. She was probably trying to help you. Oh my God, you poor people. Are you okay? Because they weren't meant to fight. Jeez. Us? Are you talking about us? Myla, hey. Don't blame Myla. She had nothing to do with this, I swear. What the hell even happened here anyway? Myla, don't say that. Don't believe him. He's wrong about everything. They did seem more developed. At least Azala did seem more developed than the humans at this time, but... We all know what happens in the end. Like, we all know that humans evolve and survive. Reptites don't. Isla is all about fight until you die. I will die when they kill me. But even then, I will still be fighting. That's a bit harsh. Although you may, you still may say maybe just because he doesn't fight. We got to do what we can to help them who can't fight, right? Dactyl, dactyl, what? What is this dactyl you're talking about? Tyranno layer. Oh, is it like another reptite layer? We've been to one of the forest maze, but it seems like it's worse. Is it like the base of all reptites' operations or something? Are we trying to infiltrate the reptites' main fortress or something? Dactyl. I mean, I can only guess what that involves. Ayla, come back! Ayla, we should talk about this. This seems like a very reckless plan. I will. I will make sure that Isla is okay. There's nothing here. We gotta make sure that Isla doesn't kill herself. Because this seems like a suicide mission, to be honest. Um, let's go. Dactyl nest. We could have accessed this place before, but why would we want to? Are these the same enemies? Oh no, this is a new configuration. Some new enemies. Um, sure, I feel like doing this, why not ice sword on this cave ape? They're more or less the same enemies we've seen before, except tougher. Although not as tough, but then again I used, well, ice sword, since why not? Now I have mentioned this before, but Chrono does seem to, oh, they don't go down so easily. Interesting. Now I could use Chrono's new Lightning 2 ability, but it's pretty wasteful. Ooh, nice critical hit, Marl. It takes up 8 MP per use, and that is a lot, considering that Chrono has 50 MP max. So you can't use Lightning 2 recklessly like you'd want to. Oh, hi guys, what's up with you? You know what, speaking of using Lightning 2 recklessly, Judging by how they're flying over us and trying to kill us, like me to... Why not? I'm so hypocritical. I'm a hypocrite. I also could be wrong about their weakness to magic, but I assume that they would be... Well, they're not weak, but... They don't resist magic either, so that's... Comforting. I wonder how Robo will do against this avian rex. Yeah, alright. We make an interesting team, guys. Alright. Time to move on to this dactyl -ness. I mean, you can only guess it's about pterodactyls, right? You know, dactyls and all. We haven't seen a lot of pterodactyls in our visit last time to 65 million BC, so... This could be exciting, you know, seeing some new creatures. Even though they're all deadly and they want to eat us, but it's fine. I assume that I have to fight these guys if I want to go through. I do. Have I shown this off yet? Chrono and Robo's Max Cyclone? It's pretty neat. You know, just to change things up, let's have our old party back for all time's sake. Me, Luca, and Marl. Me and the two girls whose names I will confuse with each other. 
this feels like deja vu. I mean, we are climbing up a nest of pterodactyls. I assume they would want to live in a higher place. Look at Banjo Tui. The Terry's. Oh, Messel Mail. Yeah, Terry's nest was in a high place back in Banjo Tui, if you remember that Let's Play. I did years ago. Wow, I had. That's a weird reminder of my old Let's Plays. Magic Defense. That's That could be good. Um. Robo could use it. Why not? As you see. The ruby male, I mean ruby vest and dark male have the same amount of defense. The thing is, would you really expect a lot of magic in this area? Have I ever shown you guys Antipode? I know that I meant, I meant to show it off to you when I fought Zombor, when everyone died, but it's a shadow elemental attack, so it's pretty interesting. So we're at the very top, huh? Hey Ala, you okay? What is up in the background? Well, who cares, it's a pterodactyl. But what is that shining thing in the background there, up in the sky? I'm pretty curious about that. Looks pretty though, this whole place looks pretty. Like I never thought I'd see such prettiness in this area. Hey, how's it going? You okay? Yeah, I mean, this sounds pretty stupid. And stupid doesn't very reckless. Well, isn't that the point? It, wait, that's what we're trying to tell you. This is very dangerous. Don't go on a suicide mission. You helped us out. You helped us get our gate key back. Yeah, so I guess it's time for us to help you guys out, right? Why not? Yes, we are, we are all friends. So we're going to the Tyranno lair to get... Okay, Luca, don't speak for us all, but... You know what? You know what? Let's go to Tyranno lair. Let's do this together. Now, of course, we have to leave someone behind since Isla. We're going with Isla. So let's go. And fly. What is that thing in the background? I swear, that worries me. And interests me. But yes, now we can actually fly around the overworld. And that's pretty cool. You can go anywhere you want. Now, you may argue there's not a whole lot of places to go to, but. If you want to go to where you're supposed to go, lava. Hot lava. And if you go over here, this place is pretty neat. Um, what is this island here? Hmm. There's so much to ex explore, and yet at the same time, there's not a whole lot to explore. Except for this weird place, Sunkeep. What? Um. Okay. This is weird. Well, let's go back to the task at hand. Let's go to the place with the lava since, well, as it turns out, it's very imposing and it looks like a pretty advanced castle. Very advanced. But as it turns out, oh, we can just stop here. This is the Tyranno Lair, the main headquarters of the Reptites. And I, let me say, this place is dangerous. Oh, hi. Why? Listen to this music, it just persists through on, which is through on, really Maya hello, that does not make any sense, but I wonder how much damage does it do, well, oh, careful now Luca, I was about to, where's my fault bite, I want to do drill kick actually, I want to reserve fault bite for, well, boss battles, that felt so satisfying. Leave Isla alone. So it seems like that reptile is susceptible to magic. So let's. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Oh man, this music. Oh, the music, the song has stopped. Well, I still try to show off the new dual tech that Isla and um, Luca learned since I acknowledge the fact that I never really allowed Isla to learn dual techs with 
my RD, my other party members aside from Robo, so now's my chance. But did you get to hear that awesome music? I mean, you heard it before back when we first encountered Azala, but you know, it was only for like when Azala was there. But now we're in Azala's lair, and the music kicks ass. So there's a background story to the song. This was composed by Nobuo Uematsu of Final Fantasy. Why, you may ask? Well, first of all, let's free these people. Uh, you're welcome, guys. So, Yasunori Mitsuda was supposed to compose the entire soundtrack, but he put his soul into working on into this working on the soundtrack. So yeah, nope. Yasunori Mitsuda put his soul into working on the soundtrack, so he overworked himself. And he actually, he actually developed a stomach ulcer. So, Nobu Uematsu was called in to compose some songs. Like this one. And a few others you might have heard in this game already. Well, it's the Reptiles, which are piss easy. You know, I think that I'm switching through my party members a lot. Well, gotta learn this text. Oh, Kino! Yeah, they did say Kino got, was missing, and they even took. and that the Reptiles took Kino. Well, why can't they free free with the button? Kino, are you alright? I know you stole from us, but that doesn't mean you have to be stuck here. Ayla, that is not gonna work. It's... It's technology, Ayla. You can't come... Ayla, what are you doing? Well, at least you're together, but... That was pretty impressive. Now, did it solve everything? It's not your fault this time. How could this be your fault, Kino? Yeah. Oh, so those are the villagers of the Laruba village. Oh jeez, the reptites. They went too far. Yeah, we have to stop this. If they go around capturing and hurting and killing innocents, that's just too much. Not again. Don't say that again, Ayla. Ayla. It's not about the fact that you should die for your people. It's about the fact that you should live while succeeding for your people, Ayla. Whatever. I mean, I, I'm sure you do believe in that. With how you say you're strong all the time. So let's prove that. Let's prove that to those bastards. Why don't we? Anyway, so about this song. Oh, let's follow Kino actually before I talk. What are you about to do, Kino? Wait for us! Kino, come back! Kino, come back! Oh! Thanks, man. You're not weak. Everyone is strong in their own way, Kino. Don't forget that. So yeah, it's interesting because this song sounds a lot like a song you will hear in Final Fantasy IX. By the way, fun fact. Bye! And how about you guys? Bye! <laughs> it's so satisfying. I mean, you could fight them, but... Why would you? So there's a lot of ways to go from here now. So, let's try to look around. Maybe not- oh, not this place. Um, I want- I might want to go back to the other area. Did you just- oh, that's interesting. So, that reptite hurt that one volcano, as its name is, actually. So what happened was that he triggered in some sort of volcano attack. Let me wait for a chance to use lightning, just so I can destroy his ass. As for you, you can ice that reptite and... Let's see, let's do a rollo kick on that big ass dinosaur. Now, do I want to be in this room already? I don't think I do. You see, because there are two ways for me to go, and this is the room with the maze. And I'm not sure if I want to be here yet. I mean, you know what? I can tackle it right now since I'm here. That's a lot of tech points. And yeah, I guess Marl and um, yeah, I guess Marl and Isla don't really seem to work well when it comes to dual techs. Okay, so I suppose when you enter the maze, go north until you see the eggs, and then go left. I think I'm not a huge expert on this maze here. Uh. Maybe like until we see two eggs. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then we go left here for this tonic. 
Now from here it goes south until you see two eggs. Um, that's one egg and that's two eggs. Okay. So this one is the Ceratopter, which I think is a hat item, which I will give to Chrono since he is our leader after all. Now from here I want to go north and till I see. Uh, yeah, this is confusing. Um, I'm not a huge expert on this maze, and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this maze. Like Jesus, teleportation. Teleportation in 65 million BC. Who would have thought we would have seen something like this, huh? Um, I think what I want to do is go back to where I got the tonic earlier. No, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is, yeah. And then go right all the way. No, 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 no. Uh, stupid, you're supposed to go over and... Wait, what? Uh, ah. Ah. Well, at least I can get this, a revive, which I could always get and need. Um, well, I mean, this is the exit, but I want to get all the items. Let's try to go back to where that revive. Jesus. Well, I suppose it's a fight. What the hell is that? Oh, those are just us, all these enemies we've seen be together, just grouped together. I thought I was all like, what sort of hybrid is this? No, it's just it's the same enemy. Did he just kill his own teammates? Okay. I was like, wait a minute, he isn't acting properly. Huh, interesting. You know what, I might as well bring Frog into the party since we've never seen Frog fight with Isla before. So, this should be interesting. Alright, so... I wanted to go right here, and then... It will take me to the revive. No... Damn it! I hate this maze! I hate this room! Uh. One, two, three. Okay, um, so from the revive you go here, you go south and then go east three times. And then you go south and get the meso mail. Okay, that was dumb. That was just dumb. Just no denying it, that was just Dumb. I hate this room. The thing is, I know that I should go back. You know what? I am going to go back. I, there's like some parts of the maze that I haven't... Well, some parts of the Tyrannolate that I haven't explored. Whoa. So what if you guys just popped in out of nowhere? That's just weird. Alright, bye guys. So might as well see what's up over here, shall we? Um, yeah, this, this is an interesting area. This is the first place where you feel like you're playing a harder game. I mean, the fights are still easier. Ooh. Okay, so that's a lot of new text there. Thank you, Isla and Frog, for getting to know each other. But yeah, uh, let's go over here. So, they've learned Slurp Kiss, which... Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Revive, you know, restore all HP and status. And there's Bubble Hitch. We should try that out. I'm pretty curious about that. Leave us alone! Well, I guess I'll try out Bubble Hitch. Chrono, you take care of those cronies. And you show us what this Bubble Hitch is, apparently. I'm pretty curious, since I don't remember this attack that well. I mean, I guess it does involve... So, it's identical to... That Robo and Frog dual tech. Gotcha. But yeah, starting from here, in this layer, you feel like the fights feel different. Like you're fighting a- Oh, oh, that probably wasn't wise. Oh, hi guys. Uh, Yeah, so starting from here, the fights in Chrono Trigger feel like they have a new flavor to them. Oh, so I got dropped back here. Well, now we know that we were supposed to go left. I mean, we got a full tonic, which I suppose was worth it. Maybe not, but hey. Exploration, and we get to see this again. Bye! And... Bye! I'm not gonna fight you guys. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you guys either. 
Alright, I'm back in the maze room. I think once you get off the items, the maze nonsense just stops, which I don't mind since that maze nonsense was pretty stupid if I were to be honest. Oh, interesting. So Isla learns Rock Throw, and she learned a dual tech with Chrono. And I have to say, this is another one of my favorite dual techs in the game. Chrono has been cut together with... Oh, this is an awkward fight, but sure. I might as well try to demonstrate this. I want to... Um, lightning you, just so I can stun you. I want to show off Isla's and Chrono's new dual tech. But it does require this avian rex to cooperate with me. Okay, good, good. They're in good position. They have to be lined up in a line. You see, once again, position matters. So this is what happens with when we do Falcon Hit. Oh yeah! Oh look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. I love this game. Okay, so we have a skull and two switches. What shall we do? What shall we press? What lies ahead in Tyranno Lair? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.